I'm going to show you how to run a Spearman's correlation. So remember, the only time you would use a Spearman's correlation is if your data set is ordinal. And ours is, in fact, ordinal. That's why I named them Likert. Okay, a Likert scale is an ordinal piece of data. So it's quite simple. It's very it's similar to the Pearson's. In fact, I'm going to run all three. And usually if you get significance in one, you get the significance in the other two. But let's just do this. We're going to do correlation, bivariate. And we want our work stress and our productivity options. Let's see what we got here. Meh, don't care about this. Don't care about that. So it the default is a Pearson's. So we're going to do all three. We're going to do a Kendall and a Spearman's. Click OK. And the output says, dun, 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 dun. there's your Kendall's correlation. And it says there was a significant correlation. When work stress goes up, productivity goes down. It's negative, And it is significant. And there's a Spearman's. And it says that the same thing. In fact, it gives you a little bit stronger correlation. But the same thing. When work stress goes up, pr productivity goes down. And they are both significant. And I am looking for the... Oh, well, there it is right there. There's the regular Pearson's correlation. And you basically get the same answer. The numbers are a little bit different, you'll notice. Uh, the Pearson's correlation is negative 0.625. The Kendall's tau is negative 0.627. And the Spearman's row is the nicest. It gives you the largest correlation, negative 0.667. But that's it. MGZ out.